there's three ways we look at pricing, and they're not mutually exclusive. We may do a, a blending of all three. The first one is understand the cost of our product or service, uh, the unit cost, the variable unit cost. So if I'm delivering um, a piece of grocery, you know, I have X dollars of the cost. If I'm delivering an engineering service, I have some X dollars with that, some hourly rates. Anyway, we need to understand the cost. And then you, the way you can price is cost plus. And most people try to at least double their cost. So if it costs you $50 to deliver this unit of service or a product, then you want to sell it for at least $100. Okay, so that's one, cost plus. Number two is good old competition. You have what you call a going rate. What is my competition charging for a similar product or service? And then you want to be in that range. Hopefully you want to charge a little bit more for it if you can. You don't want to be a... If at all possible, you don't want to be a price leader, price leader going down, because uh, there's an ax many axioms in marketing. One is you lower your price, your competition will follow you down. So you, we have a going rate or a competitive rate. And then the third one is perceived, customer perceived value. What I put my, myself in the, in the shoes of my customer. What is the value proposition of this product or service? And what am I willing to pay for that? So it's those three methodologies. Um, the best one you can do is if you have a high perceived value. But normally competition comes in and forces you to a, a going rate or a cost plus kind of pricing.